All right, <clears throat> Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Radash. I want to say and give double honor to the apostles and the bishops, elders, a great millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, the hopeful elect. Shalom to the elect. Lord, we're going to some of those men and women starting with the 144,000 prophets along with the mixed smoke to the men women and children hey i'm the brother gabari howada from gms hawaii coming to you with another quick lesson uh it was inspired by this video or a clip of this video um between don lemon and elon musk all right and elon musk had some choice words to say about slavery you know and um what he said was completely false you know um whenever the subject of slavery, particularly as it pertains here in America, come up, people, Edomites, even some of our own people, they get extremely defensive, you know, because America was founded off the blood, sweat, and tears of the children of Israel, both the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom. All right, real quick before I get the lesson started, let's get the book of um, Jeremiah. All right, <clears throat> Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah, I want to say it's um, held um, captive. This is um, the book of Jeremiah. Well, it didn't come up. Uh, um, just bear with me. The book of Jeremiah 50 and 33, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. And so that's where we find ourselves in this condition, all right, we, with these nations ruling over us, and they refuse to let us go, all right? Why? Because one, it's advantageous for them to continue to oppress us because they believe that by continually oppressing us, having us follow after them, living, living in sin, which they think is going to be perpetual, um, that it keeps us disconnected from our power. All right. And this is well known throughout the scriptures. OK, that's why they refuse to let us go on top of the fact that it's Israelites that um, bring uh real substance to the to their kingdoms all right this is the book of judah chapter five all right chapter five i think i believe it's Judah five um yeah it gotta be judah uh, judah chapter five um yeah this is uh judah chapter five verse um um matter of fact I'll start at, uh, yeah, this is Judah chapter 5. I'll go straight to the point. 5 verse 17. It says, and whilst they sin and, and whilst they sin not before they power, they prosper because the most high that hateth iniquity was with them, right? So when we're in our righteous state, right, when we're following after the Yahweh Shai as commanded, right, when we're calling on his name, when we're not following after the customs of the heathen, heathen and doing those abominable works basically when we're not sinning right and uh, the lord is with us right and we prosper because the most high hates iniquity and these nations bring iniquity it says verse 18 but when they departed from the way which he appointed them right when we went off and we started to commit iniquity or well, sin upon sin is iniquity breaking the lord's law such a commandments profaning his name amongst these heathens they were it says, but when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into the to a land that was not theirs, right? We've been in captivity under all of these different nations. Every last nation that's on the earth has had the, the children of Israelites, the children of Israel, the children of Israel, Yasha Allah, in captivity. And the last captivity that we're currently in is underneath for the Edomites. And we've been under the Edomites rule a few times, not just this time. All right. So here we are and we find ourselves in this condition. They know why 
the Lord departed from us because we broke. Well, they know why the Lord is not, you know, protecting the whole nation of Israel from our enemies because we what we broke the Lord's laws, right? But when they departed from the way which He appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. America is not our land, even though the Northern Kingdom was over here before. These Edomites over here, our land is in Israel, all right? And we've been in captivity in all of these different lands we were car carried to. Babylon, ancient Babylon, which um, Salah, you had a Neo-Babylonian Empire, right? You had us in the Persians and the Mede Empire, the Greek Empire, the Roman captivity. And then today, in the second leg of the Rome, Roman captivity, what, we're in captive. And that's just, that's just these, like, current times because when you go back to the book of judges every time we sin and broke the lord's laws he would raise up these different nations to take us captives and to to do us harm but then when we turn back to the lord what would he do he will raise up judge, judges for us and and through them yahweh bashiach would deliver us and then we go off and do the same thing over and over again over and over again so this is well known in history it says into a land that was not theirs, and the temple of their power of their power was cast to the ground. Right, they destroyed our temple twice, and their cities were taken by their enemies. Right, our enemies took our our, our land. Right, they took our land, and they over there right now. And so, that's the reason why we go into captivity, and these nations know it. The higher the higher ups of these nations, and none of these nations love like us. That none of these nations love us. None of these nations care about our power either. All right. They all plotted against us. But then, like I was saying, when you bring up the, the, the subject of slavery, these Edomites, particularly these Edomites, and you're about to see one, Elon Musk, they get highly offended. All right. And they say, well, you just should ignore it. Right. You had that um, U.S. Senator uh, Mitch McConnell. Right. He said that slavery happened so long ago that they don't have to address it. Talking about reparations. Right, that was over 150 years ago. No matter of fact, I'll get that real quick. I want to play this, but let me get this. You know, so in the spirit, hopefully, um, is is edifying. But Mitch McConnell, when you know he was in uh, in his officership, he didn't want to. Uh, they don't even want to talk about it, right? Mitch McConnell, uh, Mitch, and his nigga be freezing up like a damn computer. That's why he's speaking and shit. Mitch McConnell uh, on reparations. Uh, yeah, Mitch McConnell reparations, right? And this is what this devil said. It's a lock here. This is what this devil said. I, I don't think reparations for something that happened 150 years ago for whom none of us currently living are responsible is a good idea. Uh, we've, you know, tried to deal with our original sin of slavery by fighting a civil war, by passing uh, landmark civil rights legislation. Uh, we've elected an African-American president. I, I think we're always a work in progress in this country, uh, but no one currently alive was responsible for that. And, and that's a lie. That's bullshit. They, they were absolutely responsible for it because they are their forefathers in the reincarnation, but they don't they don't want to believe in that, right? They're benefiting from the uh, the land theft of America, the slaughtering of the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and Issachar, so-called Native American, Seminole Indians, and uh, Mexicans here in America, and then perpetuated that by bringing over the children of Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Uh, to serve captivity on this side of the land. And what they do over 400 years, that I think you say like from 14, 20, 16, 20 to like, I think it was like, I forget, I forget like uh, what, 2000 and, uh, 2019, 16, 19 to 2019, that was 400 years, right? And they still got us in captivity to this day. They ain't let us go. They ain't tell us that we're the Israelites. And, and, and let us go back into our land. But as they as they uh, keep us in captivity, what do they do? They further oppress us. And then they give you tokens, 
like a so-called black president. They didn't elect that president because it was making up for slavery. Oh, let's put this dude in high office. No, that was there to beguile you and to keep you sleep. And plus that guy that they elected, Barack Obama, is not even one of our people. He's an Amite. All right. And he did nothing, absolutely nothing for you so-called Negroes in, in America to recoup for slavery. Right. And they don't want to give Jake. They don't want to give Jake no money. Not that that's going to suffice because the most high want blood. Right. The most high want their asses in captivity. All right. But this is this is the pride of the devil. And as the scripture says, as the scripture says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. All right, Isaiah 14 and 21. Um, it says this. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. And we know that the scripture says that the son shall not bear the, uh, the burden of the sins of the father, neither the father of the son. But these people, this could happen because of reincarnation. You wasn't, none of them slave masters was judged for what they did to our people. None of them people that profited, whether it be the companies, whether it be individual families that profited from the oppression of the children of Israel, right? The so-called Native American Indians, so-called Negroes here in America. And we're just talking about Babylon the Great because in order for Esau's empire to be built, he had to oppress Israel wherever we was at, right? So the scripture says what? Prepare slaughter for his, for his, for his children for the iniquity of their fathers because they are their forefathers just like we are our forefathers we've been here before that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the faces of the world with cities so slaughter is coming for you you edomites man and mitch mcconnell he's known i think his history is known that he had uh he had his family had a, a great hand in, in the slavery of the so-called negroes in america and so they say that nobody is alive is uh, at fault for something that happened 150 years ago, but you're still benefiting from that same oppression, right? Slow is what you call progress or change has been extremely slow for the so-called Negroes here in America, right? It, it has to be redressed. You talk about what happened to the Japanese during World War II. They got compensation, right? You talk about what happened to the so-called uh, the small hats during uh, World War II and after World War II. They got extremely comp uh, compensated and other nations get compensated for the destruction that these devils have brought upon them. But when it comes to the so-called Negro, so-called black uh, in America, right, there's no redress for that. There's no correction for that, right? There's just a bunch of sly remarks and open, uh, open hand gestures that really ain't going to do nothing for you. That, that whole civil rights movement was something that was set up to destroy you so-called Negroes here in America's um, um, power, your economic power, right? Your community power. It destroyed that and forced integration upon you into a world that did not want you, all right? And your civil rights leaders, all of them were Marxist followers who were set up to misguide and mislead you. And they even put some of them to death, all right? And this is what they, this is how they feel. This is how all Edomites feel across the world. You can go to Britain, they're going to say the same thing. You can go to, shit, Australia. You can go to anywhere in Europe, they're going to say the same thing. They, they, they ain't going to do nothing for that. But when slavery ended in, 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 the, in the colonies, when slavery ended in the UK, who, benefit from, who benefited the most from that? It was the slave masters, the business owners, right? The Rothschilds, the insurance bearers. Them, they, 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 they benefited from that. <clears throat> from their loss of, of free labor and that's what it was free labor 400 plus years of free labor which set you edomites up for a head start to continue to win right and then you get ultra billionaires who are so disconnected from the average person they'll open their mouth and say shit like this virus because you've talked about that a lot you write about that a lot on the thing you have been deeply outspoken about the issue of trans right you posted trans writes you uh, posted that pronouns and bio mean the woke mind virus ate your brain do you know what the term woke actually means um it's come to mean a lot of things but what it actually what originally it was meant to mean 
It's just being aware of inequities in society and, and right. being aware of and, that. And Esau, he's not aware of those inequities in society. He don't care about those in inequities in society because they benefit him. Right? He's the one that's benefiting from it. You know, this dude, Elon Musk, he's another puppet of the, of the super elite. Right? He not. I wouldn't even call him a dumb smart nigga. He's just dumb. But, you know, they set him up to do the things he do to look like a to look like the real life Tony Stark, right? But he's just, he's an idiot. Facts and, and history. Yeah, I think it's come to be, I think I think being aware of inequities in society is fine, of course. Um, but uh, trying to blame everything uh, on, on, trying to make everything a race issue is, uh, I think, a divisive and corrosive to society. Well, you, you either might make everything a, a, a race issue. Right, there's something called systemic racism that's embedded in all Edomite societies. Whether you come from Europe, whether you live in America, shit, you can live in South America. There's what that that exists, and it, it exists to benefit the ruling class people, which in this world is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Even as it relates to trans issues, which is what I'm. Yeah, race or, you know, a, a gender or whatever. You think blaming, you think that society blames everything on racism now? It blames a lot of things on it. And, uh, yeah. You think that's unfair? And and, yeah. and a person that's not affected by racism, of course he or she going to say that shit. Like, why we keep talking about this? Why we keep bringing this up? Because it's still a problem. It's still an issue. All right? I did a lesson some time ago. Speaking about the, the civil rights, how it did so much damage to the so-called black community in America because Judah catches the most hell from this racist society. Who is Judah? The so-called Negro, so-called African-American, right? Now, Gad, Reuben, Iskar, the Northern Kingdom, they get it too. But Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, we, we're, the, we're the face of uh, um, uh, racist oppression. Why? I think I think we should we should we should, we should uh, not not make this a constant uh, subject. I think we need to, need to move on. I think we should just you know um, treat people like people. You don't agree that there's this country was founded on racism and founded on slavery and and in many ways inequities. Um, that still continue on to this. I, I think every country. Uh, at that time, and I think even today, I was extremely racist. Um, every country, um, and um, obviously, uh, slavery was present in uh, about half of this country, um, and no, but not was not present in the in the uh, north. Uh, yeah, there was racism for sure. Slavery was present in the north. Look, let's let's ask the question. Listen, bro, you could just ask it. In it was slavery present. In the North, right? Was slavery present in the North? It wasn't just a Southern thing. Look, <laughs> look, look, look. This dude supposed to be the smartest man, one of the smartest people in the world, the ultra billionaire, the super, you know, the, the electric guy, you know, the the sending people in the outer space and all this other shit. The, the 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 best business owner, right? But he he couldn't even get his his uh, information correct, bro. And all it took was a fucking Google. Um, and um, obviously, uh, uh, slavery was present in uh, about half of this country, um, and no, but not was not present in the in the uh, north. Uh, and it was, it was slavery was very well, very much present in the north, man. Yes, slavery existed in the north, though it was never as widespread as the south. So it don't matter. You touch one Israelite, you touched all of us. How about that? Right, you don't get a pass for 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 uh for one is I mean for very few or or a whole bunch. You touch one of us, you gotta go. Right, that's how the Lord look at it. This is the book of Zechariah two and eight. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai host, after the glory have He sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Exactly, and you nations, you touched us. You touched the apple of the Lord's eye. Right. Regardless whether the Lord sanctioned it, 
you still going to get judged because that's how the Lord works. He is the architect. Yahweh Shai, Yahushai. The Most High through his son, Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Shai. Yeah, the, the Most High in the name of his son, Yahweh, Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, are the architects. The Most High is the true architect, and, and Yahweh Shai, he, he, he built it. Right? You, you, you touched the king of the universe's people. And did whatever you felt like doing, right? And because racism is ever present in your society, and it's like a thorn in your side, that you got to keep getting reminded. Only a criminal, only somebody that do something wrong has a has a problem with. Only somebody that does something wrong and does not want to correct that wrong has a problem with it being brought up constantly, right? Now, when they when they sitting over their dinner table. They ain't talking about slavery, but you probably got Israelites serving you as servants, right? Whether they be Mexican, Salvadorian, the Israelite foreigners that look like the other nations, whether they be so-called Negroes, right? Serving you like like you like you are the apex of men, right? You believe that you're the king of the the world, the universe. That's what you Edomites believe. But anyway, you you even your information is wrong, man. Right? Even his information is absolutely wrong. He does not know. Slavery was beneficial for the whole country, the North and the South. Right? It says there was slave labor in the North from the colonial period through the American Revolution. Slaveholding was socially acceptable, legally sanctioned, and widely practiced in the North. But after the American Revolution, slavery as an institution, slaveholding as a practice begins to fall apart in the North. Right? And they, they, they expanded it to the South. But you still have slavery in the north. You still have slave labor up 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 top. And it was just as racist then as it is today. Most of these major cities are racially segregated. They uh, most people just don't know it. Right? They use redlining, right? To keep you so-called undesirables, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans in the area that they want you in and not and out of theirs. Now you can you can patronize their areas. You can sometimes set up shops in certain areas, but for the most part, you got to go back to the ghetto. There was racism for sure, uh, but you know, the I, th I think we 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 want to look to the future rather than the past. Well, um, the future is going to bring slavery too. Digital digital slavery for everybody. See, we were the beta test. You, you Edomites use the Israelites as the beta test for slavery. And then you trick the people into thinking that, um, you know, after slavery was over and it slavery, uh, uh, slave holding went from a private sector to a federal or public sector, right? State sector, federal. And it's, it's a lot here, bro. The fuck? Shalake, brothers. Man, man. Hey, just bear with me. That's lucky about that. Um, so as I was saying, it was it was it was profitable, right? And so, and what they do, they they made something called wage slavery. This is a, I don't know if I can still find it. Let me see if I can find it. Hazard. Yeah. Right? This is a. This is a this is a, a, a from a, a newspaper, and this is from some time ago. This is the history of the Hazard Circular, from October tenth, I'm mean, October twentieth, twenty fourteen. It says slavery is likely to be abolished by the war power. That's why we had the so-called civil war, and chattel slavery destroyed. Right, this I and my European friends are in favor of for slavery is but the owning of labor and carries with the care of the labor while the european plan led by led on by england and that european plan was a plan that was set up by the, the elite families the rothschilds rockefellers and their 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 proxies they came up with this this idea right to to move away from shadow slavery because it what what doesn't take you got to take care of these slaves. You got to feed them. You got to put put them in housing. You got to put clothes on them. 
You got to watch over them. So what they do, they, they created wage slavery. And I'm going to read it. It says, it says, while the European plan led on by England is capital control of labor by controlling wages, this can be done by controlling the money. And so what they do, they got behind the money, right? They control how money flows through the world and particularly here in America, right? And they control, they put you in slavery, not through chattel slavery anymore, getting your back whooped, you on chains and shit. That happens when you go to prison in this society, but um, ultimately uh, they they keep you in bondage with, in, through wages, right? You can only make enough to get through the, the next week, to get to the next week, right? Some people can't even do that. And you got enough to what? To get you, to pay for your shelter, right? To pay for your clothing and to pay for your food so you can get right back out there and go to work again. That's all that is. It says, while, let me um, skip down. It says, um, um, uh, it says, let me read the full quote. It says, slavery is likely to be abolished by the war power and chattel slavery destroyed. And that's what happened at the World War. After the Civil War, slavery was destroyed. Chattel slavery, not slavery. Chattel slavery was destroyed. This I and my European friends are in favor of, for slavery is but the owning of labor and carries with, with it the care of the labor. While the European plan led by England is a capital control of labor by controlling wages. This can be done by controlling the money. The great debt that the capitalist will see to it is made out of the war must be used as a measure to control the volume of money. To accomplish this, the bonds must be used as banking bases. We are now in the first, we were the first bonds, right? We were the first bonds, right? And it, it says, uh, um, we are now waiting to get the Secretary of the Treasury to make this recommendation to Congress. It will not do to allow the greenback, as it is called, to circulate as money any length of time, for we cannot control them. But we can control the bonds, and through them, the bank issues, and that's what happened. And they got control of the money. Later on, you had the Federal Reserve uh, coming to uh, fruition, right? You had, or the, I think they call it the Federal Reserve Act came into uh, existence, all right? But now everybody's in slavery. But even still, there's people in this slavery that get better benefits, better slave benefits. And it's usually these Edomites, all right? And again, they don't want to deal with, they don't want to deal with the issue of slavery because they just don't want to do it. They can do it. They can fix it, right? Well, semi on this side. But what is that going to cost? Trillions and trillions of dollars that they want to spend other places. We're not the we're not the forefront of correcting that, right? And that's what this man does because he has what a perpetual hatred for us. Okay, this man has a perpetual hatred for Jake that he he will never correct what he did. It's the book of Ezekiel thirty five and five. Okay, it says uh, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. By the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hated, has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue you. In the NLT, this says, As surely as I live, saith the sovereign Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, because there's nobody directing Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, is completely sovereign. He's above everything, him and his son, all right? And so will his people in due time. Since you show no distaste for blood, I will give you a bloodbath of your own. Your turn has come. And right, you Edomites, the Lord is about to unleash that bloodbath upon you as he destroys your kingdom, mainly your, 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 your pride and joy, America, with nuclear fire and chariot fire, the whole Continent is gonna be destroyed, bro. Right? Then he's gonna he and that's gonna happen after the Lord destroy your armies. Because the Lord's coming from the east, and in the east is gonna be that World War Three happen. That's gonna be the main theater of war. And then he's gonna bring it over to America. And then through your your elites, your so-called elite aristocracies out here, hidden aristocracies out here, <laughs> they're gonna be the first fruits of slavery. That's in the scriptures. 
and that bloodbath is going to pursue you everywhere you turn. You Edomites in the kingdom of heaven, just don't don't even act. Don't you should never think about mercy because you'll never get it. And it's, that's in the scriptures. Mercy shall be shown to those that show no mercy. And you Edomites have never showed us mercy. See, when we get these other nations in slavery right along with you Edomites, after a thousand years, these nations are going to be returned back to their inheritance, to their land that the Lord has given them. But you Edomites, you're not going to return to your land. You're going to be destroyed. You're going to be eviscerated off the planet. There's never, there's not going to, after that thousand years of hardcore slavery, as, a, as according to Obadiah 1 and 18, you are going to be destroyed. That's not me talking. That's the scriptures. That's not me. That's not my opinion. This is not my guess. No, buddy. That's the, that's the judgment of the Lord. Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh have spoken it. So ultimately, after that thousand long years, ain't no Edomite going to remain. Y'all still here. This is an Edomite right here. This dude, I'm not sure if he's one of us or he the chocolate cover Edomite, but I know his husband is an Edomite, right? But see, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to address none of the facts. And uh, instead of engaging in... Uh constant rehashing of the past, uh, because it, it, in, in fact, if you look at history, if you study history broadly, everyone was a slave. Everyone. Yes. Well, not everyone was a slave. No, but everyone was a slave. Okay. But we, 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 are, we, are, we are all descended from slaves. Yeah. Well, all of us. Yeah. No. Um, so, it's just a question of when. Is it, was it more recent or less recent? That's it. Right. When, when, where in history, where in history can you Edomites in modern history? Can you eat anybody say that y'all was in slavery and y'all had to endure what we did? Where in history can the so-called Chinese, I mean, beyond King David and King Solomon have y'all asses in a grip and some of the kings of, of, of Judah have you in a grip? When was y'all in slavery? Y'all don't even talk about that because y'all don't want to admit that y'all the Edomites. So where, where, where did this happen at? Where were you Edomites historically oppressed beyond your captivity, beyond you so-called going into slavery? Everybody was not in slavery. Moab never been in slavery. That's in the scriptures. He's been that way since his youth. Japheth ain't been in the captivity. When were, when were the so-called Polynesian, Micronesian, Melanesian captured in slavery? Now, you might talk about them Australians over there in, in, in Australia when them Edomites had them Japhites in chains for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Or, or they're oppressing them monkey-looking people, prehistoric-looking people. You know what I'm saying? But when? When? No, this is a lie. This is a lie. And who gives a fuck about everybody else? The Most High, how about you know, Shai, don't care about you nations. You nations don't matter to them. Right? You read the book of uh, Second Edges, chapter 6, verse 50, starting at 54. And, oh, everybody was slaves. So just because everybody did something, y'all just think that you can do whatever. And that's because these nations look at us like we're the heathens. Right? And I'll get that too. Second Edges 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, right? Everybody on earth come from Adam. And the people also whom thou hast chosen, as well as who did, who, and who did the Lord choose? The Israelites, right? So the Lord don't wake these other nations. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. The earth was made for our sake. It wasn't made for the sake of the heathen. It wasn't made for the sake of, of the Edomites to enjoy this world and oppress it and destroy it. No, this was this earth wasn't created for that. It was created for us to, as Israelite, starting with the Israelite men, to rule on this earth in righteousness. And you heathens, you were you were created to serve us as we are created to serve you. How about you shot? That's the true facts. All as for the I'm Salaki, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So when it comes to you other nations, the Lord don't care about y'all. Y'all y'all don't matter in the grand scheme of things. You're like you're like a roach, right? You just you see a roach, you slap it, you step on it, you smash it, and get rid of it, and get it out your way. You don't you don't you don't rate that. So for this devil to say we were all slaves, 
when was when were e, when was Elon Musk and his family in slavery? Do y'all have a history of being in captivity? Unless you're gonna talk about during the times of the, the Israelite kings, which y'all never gonna mention that, right? Even in the Middle Ages, we had y'all were in the Caucasus Mountains. Y'all was in a servile position. Y'all y'all were y'all were the wild man. Y'all were cast away from the, the people of color, right? So when 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 did you go into slavery? That's a lie. Um. So the but what what future do we want? Do we actually is this something we want to make? A, part of our constant dialogue forever? Or do we, want, do we want to say, like, let's just move on and treat everyone, uh, you know, uh, according to just who they are as an individual? Yeah, I, and you sound like Martin Luther King with that bullshit for the content of their character. No, you don't just move on from, from what you did to somebody. You got to pay, right? The scriptures say you got to pay for that, right? It's the book of Ecclesiastes. And only the devil would say something like that. Only a fugitive on a run would say that Ecclesiastes, um, I believe it's chapter one, the book of Ecclesiastes, um, Salaka, just bear with me, brothers. The most I require of that which is past, man. Right? Absolutely. The book of Ecclesiastes. Um, 3 and 15, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, that which have been is now, and that which shall be is to, and that which is to be have already been, and the most high required that which happened in the past, that which is past. So the Lord requires the things that happened in the past, right? You read the book of Revelation uh, 13 and 9, if any man have an ear, let him hear, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So that's the judgment. If you put somebody into slavery, you got to go into slavery. If you still a man, the judgment for that is, is, is death, right? And because, like the scripture says, because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men are fully set them what? To do evil, right? So they, because they're not being hit right away, they believe that, oh, so they got away with it. But you didn't get away with nothing. NLT says, anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison. And you Edomites, you are destined for prison. We're in prison right now. You're destined for prison. Anyone who's destined to die by the sword will die by the sword. This means that the Most High's holy people must endure persecution patiently and remain faithful. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're faithful and we're, 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 we're enduring this faithfully and patiently because we know that our power is going to deliver us from this captivity and destroy our enemies and exalt us underneath his son Yahweh Shai along with the, the 12 apostles and the, uh, the, the rest of the 144,000 um, prophets man we're going to be exalted as a nation again all right but see you t he don't want to keep talking about it because it, it, it bothers these Edomites man Right, it's a we're a constant us having to live amongst these people. We're a constant reminder of what they did to us. All right, we're a constant reminder. See, when they was doing all of this, you look at um, uh, books like this, which I have this book at home um, called um, what was it called? Oh man, um, uh, without sanctuary. Right, without sanctuary. Right, the book without sanctuary. This this is this happened after slavery, right? All the hangings, right? All the 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 maltreatment that you 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 did, the lynching of nineteen year old Elias. Hold on, so I get a better, bigger picture. The the lynching of nineteen year old Elias Clayton, nineteen year old Elmer Jackson, and twenty year old Isaac McGee. On June 15, 1920, this is well after slavery. Gelatin silver print, in which they would they would hang us up, take pictures, and then make postcards and get money from it. And then they would cut off our uh, pieces of our body, and they would pass it down from generation to generation, man, as a sign of, hey, look what we did to these niggas.
Look what we did. This we showed them where their place belongs, right? According to you, y'all, you Edomites did this. We didn't do this to y'all. When in history did we do this? We brutalized y'all the way y'all brutalized us for nothing, nothing more than being a so-called black man, right? Or a so-called Mexican or a so-called Latino. You, you, you sat, took these pictures and you smiled. You smiled. You, you smiled. Your children enjoyed watching us being um, maimed and murdered by their parents. Look, they children, the, the children enjoyed this shit. They smiled. They laughed. They they they, they all they gooped. They you know they they oogled, and then they went and had a picnic and ate lunch and then went home and got their dirty ass in the bed. <laughs> And, and and started it all over again. They didn't they didn't shy away from this shit. This shit's been brutal. This captivity that we've been through, and then you want to compare it to other nations. Oh, everybody's been in slavery, but as the scripture says, Daniel nine and twelve, and he that he had and he hath confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have not been done as had been done upon Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. What you did to us has never been done to any other nation on the planet Earth. No other nation was packed on slave ships, uh, uh, carried away from one side of the Earth to the other in, in slave ships, cargo slave ships, brought to a land, forced to till that land for hundreds of years, and continued to be oppressed after they did that, no other nations went through that shit, right? You Edomites, you you small hats that look like, well, y'all Edomites anyway too, but you small hats, you know, you say you've been persecuted because you're one of them people, but you can just melt into the population and no one will be able to tell really you from another Edomite, right? Except for that, that hooked nose and that, that bowed back. But in reality, you could just slide into the population. We can't do that. Right? You destroyed our people. And that's why destruction is coming to you nations. This is the book of Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All you nations devoured us. All thine adversaries, all you nations are our adversaries. Starting with the nation of Edom. Read Psalms 83. Every one of them shall what? Shall go into captivity, slavery. And they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. And all these nations prey upon us too in our captivity you go to the, any ghetto usa you want to see who you going to see the merchants in this in that area at one time it used to be chinese and koreans mostly now it's chinese koreans east indians arabs right hamites esau right persecute oppressing our people feeding us bullshit destroying our people with with their food and their presence all of that shit feeding jake through a glass like animals right feeding jake uh uh food that's not even edible like you shouldn't even be eating that shit right overcharging us for cheaply made goods right y'all y'all doing nothing but oppressing us man when you a billionaire for 200 something billion dollars you you don't see the the oppression affecting people the way that they're complaining about because you're not a part of that but you will be you nations are going into captivity, absolutely, without a doubt. This is Baruch 4 and 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. So the Lord didn't give us up to these nations to totally destroy us. It was to correct us. But because you moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto your enemies. That's why we're here. Because we broke the Lord's laws and commandments over and over again. We profaned his name amongst these heathens. We, we, we rebelled against our power. He allowed our enemies to overcome us. But... He's going to deliver us from this. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the most high. Ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Right? For when she saw the wrath of the most high coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell in Zion, Zion, the most high have brought upon me great mourning. Right? And that's the prophets speaking to Jacob. You know what I'm saying? That's the prophet speaking to Jake. So, yeah, you know, you, you could try to dismiss our captivity, but that's not going to change the fact that you're going into captivity, right? And you Edomites are so proud, you don't want to see that. The super elite know what's, going, what's coming down the pipe. 
right? They think they're going to get this new world order off the ground and they're going to continue to rule in perpetuity and put everybody in slavery and control everybody because they believe they're, they're the most high, right? They control the algorithm, right? But you're not. You're not the most high. You're a, you're a man. You're not no God. You're a man. And I don't care how many uh, transhumanistic surgeries you get, it ain't going to make you a God. You just a weak man who's ready to go. And your society is is, is is catapulting itself straight into the destruction that is prophesied in the scriptures. And so that's what I'm saying. Shalom on to the next.